Frank Drebin, I believe I've used some of your restaurant. I'm sure you have. Are you in some way connected with the Institute? Well, not officially, but as a matter of fact, Jane and I have been seeing quite a lot of each other lately. Well, that's great. I've been dating, too. Nice girl, an author. She wrote the book on male sexual dysfunction. You've probably read it. I beg your pardon. Oh, it's all right. I'm sure that we can handle this situation maturely, just like the responsible adults that we are. Isn't that right, Mr. Poopy Pants? I just want to hang out. No big deal! What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another Yo Joe Jerk Toy Review. I'm your host, Haywood Floyd. And today, we'll be looking at the G.I. Joe Classified <laughs> Night Force Falcon and Quarrel. All right, gang, let's take a look at this package. We get the figures and all included accessories. You get your standard dollar store box. Night Force logo on this side of the package. We get that low effort artwork. 138. On this side of the package, you get your number, your double battle stats, your double portrait, and a QR code. On the back of the box, we get this nice photo render. Reused helmet. Night Force patch, I think. Sound detector. Double battle stats. Legal shit. On the bottom of the box, you get your legal mush and your barcode. All right, let's get this package open. Excalibur to me. Oh, ho, ho. there you are, you dull bastard. Cut. Pop! And this is a double wide pullout game. There we go. And we'll do the quick look, and there is a lot of shit in here. All right, gang, let's take a look at Quarrel first. And let's take a look at the face, and I think they did a really good job. I'm getting some kind of Annie Lennox vibe. The hair is perfectly Karen blonde. I like the earpiece radio down around the neck there. That's really cool. And I would say I just got a little hit of slop right there. But all in all, gang, this figure is complete reuse. The base body is basically just scarlet, but when you get to the torso here, it's shooter. You get the scarlet legs, you get the shooter torso, and then you're back to the scarlet arms, which is completely fine because this character is from Action Force. I think it was Zed Force. And originally that character was just a repainted scarlet who they just made into their own character. So I think it's fun that they threw this all together and made it a character for classified. I think they nailed the color scheme from the original Action Force figure. I don't really mind that she's Night Force either. The shoulder pads are from the Steel Brigade figures or the Steel Core, I think they are. And I hate those figures, but this is really good use of the uh, shoulder pad overlays. So I guess this is your Night Force symbol and you pull that down and you get your Union Jack, baby. But the original characters from Sweet Let's peel this one back, see what we got there. We got the Z for the Z Force. That is fucking awesome. So down at the boots, painted black, looks really good. I love this dark green all over the figure, so I'm sold on it. You get the scarlet overlay. You get the knife sheath, painted red, looks really good. Up at the waist, we get this nice red belt on the overlay. Over here, we got the belt with the quiver. They hit it with the nice paint there. Does have ports for the arrows. We'll show you that later. At the waist, she gets some pretty decent movement. She goes back and forth okay. Up here on the chest overlay, we get nice paint all over the place. We get that sound detector on the chest. Nice red pocket. We get that red sheath up here for the knife. On the shoulder pads, you get the nice black, red, and green there. They do float, and you could probably take these off no problem if you don't like them. But I think they're fine. They don't hinder shit. We got double jointed paint. 
pinless. Nice black paint down the grabby fucking pistol hands. Same thing on the left arm, except for you get the ninja stars. Little gun is still not painted. And you get the trigger fingers. And now we're gonna take a look at accessories. I'm doing this a little different so you don't have to see my disgusting fingers. But basically she comes with the scarlet loadout here. We get this nice machine gun, pistol, and the crossbow. Now we've seen this before, but I gotta tell you, this is pretty fucking rigid and it is straight. So like I said in my last couple of reviews, they're fixing these weapons to be way more rigid. Clip comes out, ports back in, boop. Here we got the pistol, sculpted really well, looks good. Same thing on that side, port for blast effects. And the same deal, it's pretty fucking rigid. And here we have the crossbow. And this thing ain't so straight, but it actually isn't that gummy. A couple of extra parts here and this looks glued on as well. It is still unfortunately a little gummy, but it gets the job done. You can put an arrow up in there. I'll show you that later. The detail is there, but I didn't even like this with Scarlet to tell you the truth. And as I was saying, this set comes with an enormous amount of shit. So over here, we get the Night Force helmet. We get the Tunnel Rat flashlight. She comes with fisted hands, which are always appreciated. Two different knives, one with paint, one without and then you get an array of arrows. So this is a steel core helmet because it's got a port in, it doesn't go over top, which I fucking hate. It's got the Warhammer wings on the side. I smell a lawsuit coming. Nice black paint, the red mist a whole lot on the visor there. You can totally fucking see how sloppy that shit is. And I'm not gonna pick up the rest of them because we've seen all these fucking things. Me bringing them closer to the camera isn't gonna change shit, so here's a good look. And real quick, this is my kit bash of the Action Force Rapid Fire. And the original Quarrel figure came with this bike. So if you know, you know. If you don't, whatever. So real quick, we're gonna pop her head off, which came off way too fucking easy. And we're gonna put the Steel Core helmet on there, which doesn't pop on either. And here she is with the Steel Core helmet, or the Night Force helmet, or the Warhammer helmet. Whatever, it works. I'm never gonna use it. Here she is with the machine gun fits in her hands and it's actually fucking rigid staying pretty damn straight here she is with the tiny black knife ports into the holster no problem boo and here she is with the buoy knife thing that also ports in no problem right up there looks really good we got some flashlight action right there with no place to port it put up your fucking dukes we got fisted hands and we got the giant pistolero in the left hand and here she is with the crossbow fit in her hands and looks really good. And then all the extra arrows just store in the quiver, no problem. All right, next up, we got Lieutenant Falcon. And out of the box, he comes with his beret on, so we're just gonna pop that off so we can take a look at this head sculpt. And I think they did a bang up job. He doesn't look like lips fucking manless. This looks like a human. And here you go, this is what I'm talking about, human. Lips manless. But I gotta tell you, they really did stay in the spirit of the sculpt. So like the nose is pretty much the same. It's just they got rid of this horrible, horrible sculpting in the face. So I have no complaints. Paint looks good. Nothing's too crazy. We'll go all the way around so you can just see what he's looking like. So overall, the whole build is based off of the original Outback, which includes his boots, his pants, his upper torso, and his arms. And I have no no problems with that whatsoever. I think that's fine. So I'm not gonna get crazy with this. I do like the Night Force color pattern. So the black, the brown, and the green all work for me. So over here we got this nice little holster. I know everything on here is reused, so I'm not gonna say it over and over again. We got this nice little set of pouches over here. Up at the waist we get this nice little belt. We get some reds painted in there. We have a loop for storage of some sort. We got magazines over there and just nice pockets and detail. At the waist he does get lots of range. He goes back and forth okay, nothing great. Up on the chest we got this nice overlay, got the nice brown paint. Up here we got the nice silver paint on all the slugs. Not much going on on the back, we get nice texture. Got a peg for a backpack. And on to the shoulders, this is reused from the steel core. I actually think these are pretty cool on this figure. Got 
nice bronze paint for the slugs up there, some greens. On the left shoulder, we got the Night Force patch. And yeah, he's double jointed pinless down the black gloves. They gave him hairy ass arms this time. Here's the original. So maybe he's taking some human growth hormones to beef up or something. And up around his neck, he gets a little green scarf. It's just the one from the Viper set. And his head gets all the usual movement. It's pretty good. And his beret pops on, no problem. Looks really good like that. I think this completes the figure and he doesn't look like a fucking ass clown. And yes, if you're asking, the head pops onto the old body, no problem. And the beret even fits on his head perfectly because it's the same thing. So if you wanted to just ditch the Night Force body, you could just throw this head on there. And now you have a perfect Lieutenant Falcon. And here's the lips manless head on the Night Force body. And now he could just be a new character. And you fixed your old Lieutenant Falcon. All right, next up, we're gonna go over his equipment. So he comes with this large machine gun. And we've seen this one before, but I gotta tell you, like I've been saying this whole review and for this whole last wave, these things are straight and they're rigid now. So I have really nothing to bitch about with the weaponry on this wave. Everything's all there, the paint, everything's good. He also comes with this rocket launcher and this is the most rigid version of this weapon I've ever seen. It's not completely gummy and it feels like it's gonna fall apart. The back is a little wobbly, but there's very little plastic back here, so I get it. It's pretty much straight, and like I said, we've seen this before, so I'm not gonna go crazy going over it. He also gets this little sidearm with an extended magazine. We've seen this guy. Got a port for blast effects. And last up, we get his original shotgun. Now, the original release came with this thing. This time, we get that nice red paint. The slugs up here are painted. This comes down. This folds out. You know the drill. And like I said, the thing is straight and it's rigid. And there was more. So he comes with his original backpack. I like the green paint on there. The antenna looks good. Got a port for that knife. Got texture on the back and a peg. Speaking of knives, he comes with his original knife. Got nice silver paint. There's the handle. Here it is flipped over. Here it is porting into the backpack. Boop. Next up, he comes with the night vision goggles. And these are the same pair that came with Tunnel Rat. Have no problems with them. Nice little red paint there. He comes with a little flashlight. We looked at this thing before. Nice red paint, and that's what you get. And last up, he comes with a Night Force helmet. And again, this thing is a pop-on. It is not one of the cover helmets. Got your Warhammer wing there. Nice black, green, and red paint all over this thing. Here he is with the Night Force helmet, and whatever, I am over these helmets. I don't think they're that cool. Here he is with the night vision goggles on. They actually fit on his head really well. Better than Tunnel Rat, I gotta say. Here he is toting his heavy machine gun, and here he is with the rocket launcher. Here he is with the knife and the flashlight, and here he is with his shotgun and his backpack, and everything looks good, man. I am happy with all of Night Force so far. I really do dig the color scheme. And I like the character lineup. And for a size comparison, we have him with Major Blood and General Hawk. Here we have V2 Storm Shadow and Naugahyde. And last up, we got Retro Beachhead and Dr. Meatball Vendor. So at the end of the day, and my final thoughts on this set are, I really dig it. I think we got our money's worth. I think the loadouts on all the figures are really good. The downside are. I hate these overlays because over time they just start falling off. Her drop down hip peg is a little off center on this so one of her legs sticks out a little hard. But all in all, I like this for Night Force. I also like that you can get a replacement falcon head for this set. So all in all, I am very pleased. And that's all I got this time, people. I'd like to thank you for stopping by. And I'll catch you on the next review. Holy fuck, that was diabolical. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Fight toy gangs, disavowed, refuse, cold as ice Podcast kings, no 